everybody, welcome to Learning with Lisa. In today's video, we are looking at the garden habitat. We will find out all about the animals and plants we can expect to find in our gardens. A garden is an outside place near to where people live. Flowers, trees and other plants are found there, as well as a wide variety of animals that choose to visit or even make the garden their home. Keep a lookout for the ladybird that appears throughout the video. Tell me at the end if it appears more than 10 times. During the summertime, colourful butterflies and buzzing bees visit gardens in search of nectar. Bees are most attracted to purple flowers, but the butterflies are not fussy and love them all. When it is dark and you are fast asleep, hedgehogs are busy scurrying around gardens looking for juicy worms and slugs to eat. During the day, many different birds fly into our gardens in search of tasty food to snack on. Plants with berries are very popular. Look at the blackbird with a berry in its beak. The robin has just caught a worm and if you look carefully, you will notice the blue tit in the tree has its eye on a juicy caterpillar. Little insects found in trees and on leaves are also considered great food for the birds to eat. Some birds choose to make the garden their home as well and might build a nest in a tree. Remember though, you must never remove eggs from its nest. They need to stay with the mummy bird. Some gardens have ponds. Fish, frogs and toads all like to make their homes there. Unfortunately, <laughs> gardens are getting smaller as more and more land is needed to build new houses. Gardens that do exist are often separated by wooden fences or brick walls. This makes it difficult for hedgehogs and other animals to pass freely from one garden to another in search of food. Did you know that hedgehogs travel around a mile every night to find enough food to survive? You can help a hedgehog travel from one garden to another by asking your adults if a tunnel can be cut in the fence. So hedgehogs can search for food in other gardens. If you are lucky enough to have a pond in your garden, ask your adults to check if it has a gentle slope. So if a hedgehog falls in whilst drinking, it can escape easily. Building up steep slopes with stones or pebbles will allow a hedgehog to crawl out. We know that hedgehogs eat slugs, so it's really important that gardeners don't use slug pellets because if a hedgehog eats a slug that has eaten a pellet, it can make them very ill and we don't want that. Why not try planting nectar producing flowers for the bees and butterflies to enjoy? Did you know that bees can see purple flowers more easily than any other colour? So try to encourage your adult to plant lots of purple flowers. The bees in my garden love my lavender plant. Butterflies have great eyesight. They can see all colours easily. Use a water butt to collect rainwater. If you grow plants in your garden, you will need to water them from time to time when the weather is warm and sunny. You can transfer the water from the water butt into a watering can instead of using tap water. This will help save precious water. 
Look after insects and invertebrates that visit the garden. Have you ever thought about making a log hotel? All you need is a few old logs and twigs. You could also make a rock hotel. Snails and spiders love hiding amongst rocks. Birds are important visitors to our garden as well. Let's look at the different ways we can help them. Make sure there is plenty of food available. There are many different types of feeders. There are some that hang from trees and others that look like tables. Chopped peanuts are good for birds in the winter and birds enjoy seeds in the summer. Birds also need a fresh supply of water to drink from and to bathe in. Make sure you keep birds safe by putting a collar with a bell on your cat. This will help stop cats chasing birds. Every time the cat moves, the bell will ring and the bird will know the cat is close by. You might also want to put some special stickers on your windows so birds don't fly into them by mistake. It's now time to learn some facts about some of the special visitors to our garden. Let us first look at the life cycle of a frog. Did you know that a frog starts life as a tadpole? A frog lays frog spawn in clumps in shallow water. Tadpoles begin to grow inside the eggs. After a while, a tadpole leaves the egg. Its tail keeps growing. It then grows two back legs and then two front legs. Once this has happened, its tail gets shorter and it looks more like a frog. A young frog is called a froglet. When it becomes an adult, it will lay more eggs. Butterflies start life as caterpillars. A butterfly lays eggs on leaves or the stems of plants. After a while, the eggs hatch and out comes a little hairy caterpillar. The caterpillar gets bigger and bigger. Once it is fully grown, it forms itself into a pupa and will stay there for some time. When it leaves, it emerges as a butterfly. It's now time for our quiz. Let's see how much you can remember. Which colour flowers are bees most attracted to? Yellow, purple, red. Bees are most attracted to purple flowers. What does a butterfly start life as? Caterpillar, baby butterfly, tadpole. A butterfly starts its life as a caterpillar. When are you most likely to see a hedgehog? During the day, at night, during winter. You are most likely to see a hedgehog at night. Which of these is not a danger to hedgehogs? Worms? Slug pellets? A steep sided pond? The answer is worms. What does a frog start life as? A froglet? A caterpillar? A tadpole? A frog starts life as a tadpole. Which one of these is harmful to birds? Feeding birds? Providing drinking water? 
taking eggs from nests. You must never take eggs from a bird's nest. Let's have a look at some of the photos I've taken of animals and plants in my garden. We've now reached the end of the video. By the way, the little ladybird appeared 21 times. I hope you enjoyed finding out about garden habitats. If you did, remember there are many more habitats to find out about. Keep a lookout for my other videos. If you haven't done so already, you might want to subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video. Thank you for watching and bye bye for now. Bye.